All right, so here we are. We're gonna be unboxing Apollo uh, NASA moon mission. So before we actually even just open up the box and everything, the outside of the box feels pretty awesome, to be honest. Of course, on the back here, we have all the pieces and the components, um, and then we have our X-Acto knife. So we are going to be cutting open these little pieces right over here. So that way we can unbox this guy here. I'm pretty excited about this. I've dropping up my X-Acto knife. I've actually never played this game yet before, so some of the pieces I might not know exactly uh, what they're for, but we're still nonetheless gonna go over this. Uh, so inside of here, it looks like it's just black in, on the insert, which actually looks kind of nice uh, in comparison to just like the brown that's in most of the games. Uh, this is the first thing you see right over here. This is really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's the, uh, right over here, it's the Gemini missions uh, in the game, but that right there, what a great way to open up the game. One giant leap for mankind. That's so freaking cool. Uh, so we got the rule book, not perfect size of the box, but that's totally cool. I personally love when games uh, have rule books that fit the size of the box for some reason. Uh, so go through, going through here, this just looks like it's pretty legible right over here, easy to read. Obviously you can also check out rules online. Now we got this next piece right over here. This looks pretty cool too. So this is gonna be the mission control for one of the players. Um, so that just looks cool in itself. Um, so that's what other players are going to see here on the back end. And then the main uh, mission control player is going to see this right over here. Um, kind of keeping an eye on things if they want to through that, it looks like. But that looks really cool. Uh, this feels really good and sturdy um, as far as, you know, a game piece goes. Uh, then we got some of the module pieces. Now we do have to punch these out. If you are a fan of punching stuff out just as much as I am, make sure you hit the like button down below. That does really help out the channel. So we got these different modules and we got four of them it looks like right over here. So those are puzzle modules. And then here, this is also for the main control uh, player right over here. This is the control board, uh, very thick as well too because it looks like we're gonna be putting some of the pieces in there. Uh, so, you know, we have all these different levels that we're gonna be going through and it's gonna help determine throughout the game. Uh, we got some more puzzles right over here. Just pop that one out. And then we also have some more controls right over here as, as well. So that looks really cool. And then we got this piece right over here. This looks like it's additional mission. So this is the actual Apollo mission. Uh, so the other one was the Gemini mission. So I can't do the whole thing on screen. So this is half of it right here. And then here is the other half. So that's of course the moon right over there. On the back end, it just says the name of the game, Apollo. Uh, quality is really good, honestly. Like it's a pretty, pretty hefty box there uh, for us. Then we got these pieces right over here. Uh, again, just uh, some more pieces for us to be playing as the actual, I believe this is for the actual astronauts as well. Yeah, this is for flight control. Nothing on the back end, but everything else looks good there. We got tons of more punch outs. We got tokens right over here. We got uh, comm tokens as well. Uh, then we have the little pieces right over here for mission pawns. Got more command control pieces. Uh, these are for the puzzles um, as we go through and play them. So looks like little uh, Tetris pieces, which is kind of cool. Uh, we got this uh, module board right over here. So this is for flight damage uh, right over here. Nothing on the back. We got this little thing right over here. This is awesome. So I'm a huge fan of NASA and everything else going on. So this is the Artemis mission that they are actually uh, having plans to go to the moon uh, back in 2024. Back in 2024, going back to the moon. So this is a cool little poster that they uh, they have in here for us. So this honestly is just so awesome i'm not like a big fan of posters in general but i don't know just something about the fact that nasa actually has the artemis thing in here so freaking cool okay this is awesome right over here this makes me feel like i'm gonna i'm going to space right now so uh we have the nasa gemini 2 and then we have the apollo uh mission packs as well um i'm almost like not wanting to open these things up these just look so cool so we got all of our mission stuff right over here. Uh, the art looks really cool to be honest as well too. Um, obviously the things are, the, the art pieces are just for the back but the main pieces are right here for the stages. Uh, but still nonetheless looks really cool. We got some cards over here as well. And then we have obviously similar things for the Apollo mission which is gonna be the bigger one because that's the one we actually go to the moon um, originally to land on. And then we got these little pieces right over here. So these look like little pawns right over here. So these are made out of wood. It does have stickers on here. The sticker is kind of coming off uh, just a little bit right over here. You can kind of see on this one. 
Um, the rest of them seem to be on there quite nicely. We've got little pieces I believe are going to be for some of the module stuff um, as they go on. we got this little baggie over here. So we have like command down that you're supposed to put on uh, for the uh, person who's sitting at control, command control. Uh, these are the little pieces here that are going to, let me grab this back, that are gonna be going into here. So that way you guys can determine where you're at at all times. I think it goes like this. Yeah, so just be kind of going like this. It's a little stiff, but obviously I think as you start playing more and more, they'll loosen up a little bit, but I don't think you want them too loose on there. Uh, we got some alerts. Uh, so these pieces right here, uh, are going to go on the command control and stuff like that. So these will probably go somewhere like this. So probably did the wrong way. So like this. So once you have alerts, you'll kind of pop them out for the other players, which is kind of cool. We got a lot of cool dice right over here. So we got black and yellow dice for the game as you're playing. Um, obviously, depending on where you guys are currently in the game, depends on how many dice you'll be using. But these look all really cool. They feel like pretty much normal dice, um, but obviously they have this kind of like old style look to them as well too with the numbers. Um, you can see kind of like old digital clocks on there. So that's kind of cool. We got some cards right over here. And see these cards inside. So these are crisis comms right over here. So that looks pretty cool. Power disruption, life support. So all of those, that's the different crises. And then we have our token right over here. So uh, I think this is the one where you're just switching between different astronauts as you guys are playing. This is pretty cool. Obviously has the icon from the box of the game, but I just think that looks really cool too. Nice and thick. Um, obviously that has a nice insert so things can go back in as you are putting everything away. So it doesn't look like it'll take too, too long to kind of put everything back in their place. Comes with a few Ziplocs. Um, as well, it looks like you might want to do some additional Ziplocs depending on if you want these in boxes or just in the box by themselves or in bags as well too. If you're interested in picking up Apollo uh, moon missions, NASA moon missions, uh, check out the link in the show notes down below for you. You guys can uh, purchase it from online. That does help support out the channel. And if you guys are wanting to see some more unboxings, check out my next video right over here. My name is Dennis and I'll see you in the next video.